Rama Rama Ram Edu Nandana He Ganesham Hare Rama Rama Ram Rama Ram Edu Nandana He Ganesham Hare Raghupati Raghava Raja Ram Raghupati Raghava Raja Ram Patita Pavana Sita Ram Patita Pavana Sita Ram Raghupati Raghava Raja Ram Raghupati Raghava Raja Ram Patita Pavana Sita Ram, Pati Japan, Sita Ram, Sri Ram, Jaya Ram, Jaya Jaya Ram, Sri Ram, Jaya Ram, Jaya Jaya Ram, Sri Ram, Jaya Ram, Jaya Sai Ram, Sri Ram, Jaya Ram, Jaya Sai Ram, Sri Ram, Jaya Ram, Jaya Jaya Ram. Out of the ineffable word, I come, O oh, beloved, as the Lord of the third ray, your own Paul the Venetian. I come then for the initiation of hearts and heart chakras unto the unfoldment of divine love. To all hearts of this state who must accelerate in the development of the discernment of the heart, for the heart knoweth all things, readeth all things, understandeth all things. Let the understanding of the heart unfold and let the soul rise to her lawful mentor, even the Christ within. My angels of love surround you. They surround each and every light bearer, every child, man and woman, throughout this state of California. For I, Paul, do come to minister unto those burdened by those tremblings in the earth of karma and the weight of misqualification in this state and from ancient records. Thus, how bright is the light of the day. Yet those who listen, those who hear, 
and hear angel voices and heed the inner call. Know that all is not well and therefore the rumblings of prophecies and predictions of earthquake and cataclysm must surely affect the inner psyche as well as the beings of nature who tend this garden of God. Now then, beloved, for the anchoring of pillars of fire in the earth, I commend you to the call of the Divine Mother to rise to meet your destiny in this age. I commend you to the violet flame whereby the light of the heart does simply increase and increase as the flower unfolds its petals and the rose of light of the heart sheds its fragrance to all who are in distress, all who are dying, and those who have not lived in the light, for they knew not how. For want of teachers and those who care, some are lost. And for want of caring for the law, many self-extinguish the flame. And in the denial of the Divine Mother of ancient Lemuria, there has come to pass a civilization bereft of the intimate knowledge of being the vessel of the mother and thereby coming unto the love of the Buddha, even the one who unfolds the light of eternal Christos. Wherefore then do we deliver our word? It is that flood tides of love might descend upon a people reincarnated from the motherland, here once again to resolute karma and situations of ancient history. Blessed ones, be not caught then in those places that must receive a purging light and a washing of the waters by the word. Be mindful to entertain angels of God. Be mindful to establish the inner fount of peace as a means of receiving the divine presence and these angels who have always ministered unto the servants of God to take them where they ought to be, perhaps where they desire not to go. Yet nevertheless, the Holy Spirit that is of my ray and bands must pick you up and take you to other places and sometimes to other times, past and future, that you might establish the coordinates of your own understanding of a prophecy that is written in the rock and in the marrow of your bones and in the very waters of the sea themselves. I call then unto those who have heard the call already and are responding by answering with their own call. And I come to you, opening my heart for the healing of hearts, for the heart chakra, of this state must needs be expanded that there might evolve then fruition and a light. Let the children of Mu come of age. Let them understand what it means then to be sons of God in a time when few accept the responsibility of shepherding. I come also with a ruby fire for the purging and the corruption of the government of this state. I come with a purging light 
that compels the light to rise for the restoration of the divine memory. For with the loss of light, there is also the loss of memory and the tablets of mem with which you were familiar on Lemuria are the recordings of ancient lifetimes when you, beloved, possessed an extraordinary light. But for vast numbers of those settled in this state in this time, it was the compromise of the heart and the heart chakra that allowed you to lose that light and therefore to descend in an apartness, a separation, first from the mother and then from her son, from the universal light, and then from one another, being divided then by fallen ones, angels who waged the wars of the gods unto the utter destruction of the inner temples of light. They have come again, beloved, to destroy the temples and the devotees of Tibet. And who has raised the hand to say thus far and no farther to those communist hordes who have denied the culture of the mother in the gentle ones of Tibet who have carried forward the ancient wisdom I tell you, not the government of this nation or the West. Blessed hearts, it is a crime against humanity when hordes who are undeveloped are given the freedom in the name of Aquarius to snuff out the candle that has been lit upon the altars of the ancients for hundreds and thousands of years. Will the candle go out in your heart, in the hearts of the people of Lemuria on this side of the fire ring? It is a decision that the individual must make by free will to keep the flame of life and to know that in the science of the spoken word which you have so gently and powerfully exercised this evening is the means to raise up the mother light, to draw forth the light of the father, to experience that union in the temple, that increase of the fire of the heart that shall consume the ancient karma of the compromise of the heart, and ultimately that fire, that threefold flame expanding, returning to you the consciousness of God you once knew. Though I read the records of Akasha in a moment, of each one gathered here, and all former citizens of Lemuria living in California, I shall not read them in detail in my dictation, but only tell you, beloved, that the axiom is so true that those who neglect a self-knowledge of their history are doomed to repeat that history. Thus you stand in a moment on the pinnacle of a choice, to move upward in the spiral of being, to transcend oneself, oneself all the way back to the days of Lemuria and enter the high road of reunion with God, else to repeat the former cycles and go down again. Blessed hearts, the great white brotherhood is compelled to send forth a messenger to reach its own with the knowledge of choices. For you have earned the right to know, to be loved, and to yourself love as God loves every part of life. 
You have a right to learn and walk the way of self-givingness, which the adepts of ancient Lemuria did in the last days of that continent as they gathered their disciples and transferred the flames of the temples to mountain fastnesses. Know, beloved, that what is in the earth as karma must be transmuted, for the earth cries out in the agony of the weight of the infamy of the fallen ones, even within this state alone, and yea, the entire planet. How long, how long, O Lord? Thus do the beings of the earth and the fire and the waters and the air cry out unto God. How long must we bear the infamy of rebellious spirits who wander about perverting the life force in little children and in their bodies? Thus it is, beloved, the sacredness of life within you must needs be acknowledged. God is in you. Revere that light, that consciousness, that being, and understand that unless life be revered and some pull away from the ease of the pleasure cult, the ease of squandering the light of the chakras, you will know once again the cataclysms of the past. All prediction may be turned back by the violet flame. Some may be but mitigated. Let us hasten to higher consciousness as the watchman of the night climbs to his tower to see that all is well or that it is not. May you rise to higher planes of your being and see through the mind of Christ in you what is your destiny and what is Earth's destiny, that you might chart a course to be in planet Earth, a pillar of fire, a pillar of fire. Thus are the adepts of love and of the third ray initiates of the Holy Spirit and of the priesthood of the order of Melchizedek. Thus do we know the ruby fire that is a love so intense as to bring judgment upon the forces of anti-love that abuse the light of the heart. May you run to the immaculate heart of Mother Mary to the sacred heart of Jesus and to the purple fiery heart of Saint Germain and therefrom receive the engrafted word. This, this is cosmic Christ illumination. This is the transfer from the great masters to you directly through your own Christ self, who is high priest at the altar of your being, of that fire so needed for you to know and to sense and to be who, what, and where you ought to be in this age. I release now the fire for the realignment of worlds. Come home, my beloved, to the heart of everlasting love. So may it be that you discover reality and in the process know the teacher, the twin flame, and the beloved God. My angels touch you and love you in this hour. They have known you foreverness. May you greet them as long, almost lost friends from higher octaves 
who salute you now with the embrace of other worlds. Heaven is so close, closer yet heaven's love. My coming then is established as angels of the third ray throughout the city have established focuses for transmutation and the writing of this government for the benefit of all people. In the flame of your heart, I remain a teacher of love who loves you unto the heights of love's mastery. Be at peace, beloved, but keep the flame. Do not fail to keep the flame of love burning. So is the dawn of the new age through the flame of love.